G'day fellow Helldivers, Shellstrike here. Today we're not just going to the front lines, we're bringing the fight home with a deep dive into controller settings and a comprehensive breakdown of why playing with a controller can be more challenging than using a keyboard and mouse. Whether you're a console warrior or just curious, this video is for you. Let's gear up. First up, let's ensure your controller is tuned for battle. Here are the settings you should consider adjusting for maximum efficiency. Look sensitivity. Start with look sensitivity at 25 to 30%. This is your basic turning speed. Too high and you'll find yourself overshooting your enemies. Too low and you'll feel like you're in slow motion. Fine tune this based on your comfort, but this range gives a good starting point for most players. Adjust the slider in the settings menu to 25 to 30%. Aim sensitivity. For aim sensitivity, go for 20 to 30%. This controls how quickly your crosshair moves when you're aiming down sights. It's crucial for precision, especially when you're trying to hit those tiny weak spots on larger enemies. Experiment within this range to find what feels right for your playstyle. Controller vibration. Set the vibration strength to medium. This will be in your console settings, not in the Helldivers 2 settings. It provides feedback for hits and misses without overwhelming you. It's not just for immersion, it's also practical for understanding when you've landed a shot, or when an enemy is attacking you. Trigger dead zone. Dial in the trigger dead zone to 5 to 10%. This ensures your triggers are responsive without accidentally registering inputs when you're just resting your fingers. This setting is vital for rapid fire weapons or when you need to quickly reload in the heat of battle. Aim assist. Enable aim assist but keep it at around 40 to 50%. While it might feel like cheating to some, in the chaos of Helldivers 2, where enemies come at you from every angle, it helps maintain your focus on strategy rather than just aiming. Camera shake. Reduce camera shake to low or off if you find it disorienting. This setting can affect your aim and overall situational awareness during explosions or when fighting large enemies that cause tremors. Motion controls for console players. If you're on PS5, you might want to try motion sensor for aiming. Set it to 15 to 20% sensitivity and there is four options disabled, aiming, scoped, and always. I would suggest either in aiming or scoped as if it is set to always, it just doesn't work. It's a bit like gyro aiming in other games, offering a nuanced control for fine adjustments. It's not for everyone, but it can be a game changer if you get used to it. One example where it can come in very handy is shooting a Hulk's red eye. You can use the precision of this feature of the controller to be far more accurate than you could be with the thumbstick. So yeah, it can make a, a big difference in gameplay and in certain scenarios. Customize your controls for efficiency. Use the D-pad for less frequently used items or commands. If your controller has paddles, map them to crucial actions like jumping or diving, which can be life-saving. Now let's delve into why playing with a controller might pose more challenges compared to the precision of keyboard and mouse. Precision and control, the mouse offers unparalleled precision. In Helldivers 2, where aiming at specific parts of enemies can be crucial, the mouse's ability to make minute adjustments is a significant advantage. Controllers, while improved with aim assist, can't match this level of control, button mapping and accessibility. A keyboard is a symphony of options with each key potentially serving a command. This allows for complex setups where you might never take your hand off the mouse. On a controller, you're limited. You have to juggle actions on fewer buttons, which can slow you down in key moments. Strafe and aim mechanics. On a keyboard, strafing is independent of aiming. This separation allows for fluid movement and shooting, which is vital in a game where positioning is key. Controllers force you to potentially compromise aim for movement or vice versa, which can be detrimental in clutch situations. With a controller, your left thumb controls movement, which can sometimes lead to less precise aiming if you're also trying to strafe or adjust your position. On a keyboard, WASD movement frees up your mouse hand entirely for aiming. In Helldivers 2, where enemies can come from any direction, this can be crucial for survival. Gamepad layout limitations. You'll often find yourself needing to hold or press combinations of buttons for different actions. This can be clunky, especially when you need to switch weapons, reload, and call in stratagems in quick succession. Controllers are inherently limited by their design. For instance, while you can use back pedals or extra buttons for additional commands, you're still capped by hand size and thumb reach. 
This limitation can sometimes make quick actions like switching weapons or deploying stratagems feel cumbersome during the heat of battle. Adaptation and muscle memory. Even seasoned console players might struggle with the inherent limitations of controllers when transitioning to a game that demands the precision of PC shooters. Muscle memory developed over years on a mouse can make controller play feel limiting. Your gaming background plays a huge role here. If you've primarily played on consoles, you're likely more accustomed to the feel of a controller, which can translate into quicker reflexes and more intuitive gameplay. Conversely, PC players might find the transition to a controller less seamless due to muscle memory developed with a mouse and keyboard. Customization flexibility. While modern controllers offer more customization than ever, they still can't compete with the sheer number of options available on a PC setup. Macro keys, programmable mouse buttons, and software for further tweaking give keyboard and mouse users an edge in personalization. On PC, the customization of controls goes beyond just button mapping. You can tweak sensitivity curves, create macros, and even adjust DPI settings on your mouse for different scenarios in the game. This level of control can be a significant advantage for players who like to min-max their setup. One good example of this is voice chat and trying to assign a standard PS5 controller button as they are already used up in Helldivers 2. So unless you have an aftermarket controller with extra buttons for mapping, it can be difficult to assign a button for team voice chat for the press to talk option. I've had to remap the press to talk button on the PS5 controller to the down arrow on the D-pad on long press, or another option is long press left arrow on the D-pad. In Helldivers 2, whether you choose a controller or opt for a keyboard and mouse, understanding and optimizing your input method is key to dominating the battlefield. Here's a recap of what we've covered. Optimal sensitivity settings for better control over your character and aiming. Vibration and trigger adjustments to enhance your tactile feedback without distractions. Leveraging aim assist for those split second targeting needs while ensuring you still earn the kill. Motion controls for PS5 players offer a nuanced aiming adjustment. Custom button mapping to streamline your combat efficiency. When comparing the controller to the keyboard and mouse, precision is where the mouse excels, offering pinpoint accuracy that's hard to match with a controller. Button accessibility on a keyboard allows for more complex control schemes. Movement mechanics can be more fluid with a mouse and keyboard setup. Adaptation to one's preferred method often depends on prior gaming experience. Customization on PC can provide a tactical advantage through advanced settings and modifications. No matter your choice, practice will make perfect. Spend time in the game's tutorial or lower difficulty missions to get accustomed to your settings. Remember, Helldivers 2 is not just about shooting, it's about strategy, teamwork and using your tools effectively. Whether you're fighting with the precision of a mouse or the comfort of a controller, the goal remains the same, to spread managed democracy across the galaxy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tips and tricks to become the ultimate Helldiver. Until next time, keep fighting for freedom.